so here we are in photoshop so let's open the image go to file open and select the model image open this in photoshop so first of all we need to cut out the background so i'm gonna select the quick selection tool from here and start making a selection of him select this minor selection to delete out the selection now take your time and make a perfect selection <laughs> So our selection is ready, now click on select and mask. In this view mode, you have a lot of options to select from. Select the on black and in the opacity make it 100%. Take the second brush from here, refine edge brush and, and start brushing over the edges. In the settings, give little bit of smooth and a little bit of contrast. In this output setting, tick this decontaminate colors and output to new layer and hit on OK. Now as you can see, our background is completely removed. Now double click of this layer and change this layer name to model. So our model is ready. Now we have to import the background. Now go to file, open and select the background and open this in Photoshop. Now as you can see the background is opened in a new document. So here is our model. Now take the move tool from here and take this model to this layer. Now you can close this documents. Now you have the model and we have the background. Now select the model layer, press Ctrl T. Now make the model bigger and adjust the size. Place him where he perfect well. So I think this position is good enough. Now confirm it. Now our basic editing is done, we have a model, we have a different background. But now we need to play with the colors, shadow and highlight to match these both image together. Now first we will work on the model. Now select the model, press Ctrl U to bring out the hue and saturation. Now decrease the saturation a little bit as you can see. Now minus around 30 is good enough. Now hit on OK. Now we need to play with the shadow. As you can see the background is little bit darker than the model. So we need to match them both. Now select the model layer and Click on this adjustment layer and select levels. Now anything you do, as you can see this affecting the whole image. But we don't need this. We only need the model. So click here. This is create clipping mask. Now anything we do, this only affect the model. So now take this slider to the left. As you can see the subject is getting darkened. So, so I think this match with the background. Now add little bit of contrast.
I think that should good enough. Now close this. Now select this mask and take the brush from here and now select a regular round brush with 0% hardness. Now make the brush smaller by using bracket keys. Now make sure that the color foreground color is black. Keep the opacity around 60% or little bit 30% would good enough. Keep the opacity 30% and the flow around 60%. Now brush the area where the darkened part should be removed. So since the light is here, so this area should be brightened. So as you can see this was before and this is after. So now make a new layer from here and right click of your mouse and create clipping mask. This is gonna be dodging. Dodging means increase the highlights. Now go to edit, fill and in the contents select 50% gray and hit on ok. Now change this layer mode normal to overlay. Now right click here and select dodge tool now brush over the area to brighten up so since the light is here so this area has to brighten So as you can see this was before and this is after. So if you think it too much you can go ahead and decrease a little bit of opacity. Now I am gonna matching the colors. Create a new layer from here. Right click here and create clipping mask. This is gonna be the color. Now take the brush from here and make the brush bigger. Hold Alt and take the color sample from here. As you can see, now paint here. Make sure the opacity is 100% and flow around 60%. Now brush over the highlighted area. Now change this layer mode normal to overlay. As you can see this effect the whole subject but we need to remove this effect from these shadows from this darken area. So right click of this layer and select blending option. Here as you can see you have the option blend if. So in this underlying layer this these are the shadow area if we take this slider to the right as you can see this effect deleting from the shadows as you can see but this is too harsh too sharp we need to make it smooth so hold alt and make a click here as you can see this this built into two part now take one part and move it right to make it a smooth transition as you can see now hit on ok so this was before and this is after as you can see this is too strong let's decrease a little bit of opacity this is before and this is after so everything is seems fine now I'm gonna apply a blur effect to this background so this is our background and this is locked now click here to make it unlocked 
double click here and change this layer name to background now select the background layer right click of your mouse and convert to smart object now go to filter blur gaussian blur and give the radius around 30 percent and hit on ok now select this mask smart, smart filter mask here take the brush make sure that the color is black the foreground color and delete this blur effect from the bottom part decrease the opacity little bit uh, keep the opacity 30 percent and brush over this area to delete out the blur effect So as you can see this is before and this is after so everything is seems fine to me now make a new layer from here and this is gonna be the overall layer so select this layer and take the brush the regular round brush as we used before and hold alt and take sample from here and make the opacity 100 and brush here here and here a little bit so now as you can see change this layer mode normal to screen and decrease this opacity uh, somewhere 30 to 40 percent i think 40 percent is good enough now our basic the editing is completely done at the final step i'm gonna select this adjustment layer and select curves now take this take down this slider down to make the image darker and now close this now select the mask and brush with the black color to delete this effect from this area keep the opacity lower and brush the area where you want the light back so this is so So this is our final output. So this is how you can match two image together. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please subscribe.